the QMLMA project uh, initiated in our institute uh, aims to develop a novel approach for myeloma spectral therapy. So as you know, myeloma is still incurable disease so far. The reason for that is because currently available drug cannot distinguish the myeloma cell from the normal cells. So when you use the high dose of the drug, it will kill the myeloma, but at the same time also kill the normal cells. Therefore, you can only use a certain dose of drug. With this dose of drug, most of the myeloma cell will be killed with minor damage to the normal cells. So, however, the residue myeloma cells will eventually come back and develop drug resistance. That will cause the myeloma relapse and the patient dies. So, if we can develop a approach to specifically trigger the drug toxicity with the myeloma cells, then we can kill myeloma cells without damage any normal cells. So that's our goal for this project. Then we need to find what is unique for the myeloma cells compared with other cells. So all the myeloma patients have this kind of protein called the M protein. This M protein is unique for myeloma cells. No other cell secretes this kind of protein. And all the M protein are identical. So that means if we can somehow target this M protein, it will kill all the myeloma cells without them to any other cells. So this M protein was coded by a DNA and then it's called the RNA. So this, we have a bunch of this mRNA molecules within the myeloma cells. This mRNA, mRNA is our real target to trigger the drug toxicity within the myeloma cells. So you can see here, I can show an example how does it work. First, we can isolate myeloma cell from patient, and then we can do some molecular biology work to get the spike sequence of this patient's mRNA. Then we use another sequence to bring a drug. Only when this sequence binding each other, DNA and RNA sequence binding to each other, the drug toxicity will be triggered, and it will kill the myeloma. So, so far we have proved this principle using a model system. So hopefully we can very quickly go through the animal model and eventually go to the clinical trial. Eventually we will kill the myeloma. So, so far we have proved our principle uh, using a model system. So now we are waiting for this, the real drug to be tested. Within a couple of weeks, we will test the real drug in the cells and then in the animal model. We use this mouse model of human myeloma that's developed in our institute. And uh, within about one year, suppose we can finish our animal model work and go to clinical trials.